hi everyone and welcome to today's video in my video today i have a special guest this is tessa and she and i are going to talk to you a little bit about an herbal coffee that i've been drinking since last year by a brand called ticino and this is not the container it comes in. I put what I had remaining in this, but this is an herbal coffee, and no, it's not for you. And this is what it looks like. Kind of looks like that, and it's made with ch chicory, right? I guess is how you say it. Or hickory, I'm not really sure how you say it. Um, this one is their mocha flavor, and I really like it, and a serving size of it is two tablespoons, uh, depending on the strength you like and how you're making it, and so I typically do mine in a French press, like so, and here in a second I'll show you how I make it in my french press um and i'll have it appear over here somewhere and so then what i'll usually do is i typically drink it hot um but i'll do a like full video uh later on how the full process i do to make it in a french press and then also how i choose to drink it cold if I make it iced um but I wanted to come on here and just kind of give an introduction on Ticino I have an affiliate or like a ambass an affiliate link with the Ticino brand so I will leave it in the description below in case any of you are interested in trying Ticino, I'd highly recommend it. I have been interested in the concept of herbal coffee for a while um, when I first heard about it because I like coffee but I have anxiety and so sometimes regular coffee isn't the best thing for people with anxiety and sometimes most of the time drinking regular coffee doesn't bother me but sometimes it can and then I also struggle with sleep, so I figured it would be worth a shot if I could find something that could help replace my intake of coffee, um, and that just might be better for me in different ways. Um, with that being said, I do still drink regular coffee. I've just been trying to cut back on my caffeine intake, just in general. Um, but they, their mocha flavor, their, their hazelnut flavor, and their french roast flavor are my three favorites that Ticino offers, but they also offer a huge variety of other flavors, um, like maca chocolate, vanilla nut, um, a whole bunch of other flavors that are really interesting the vanilla nut and the maca chocolate I have had in there they're pretty good um but if you're someone I will say if you're someone who's planning on trying it but you drink regular coffee every day give yourself a few days of drinking the herbal coffee to really see if you like it or not because it is a different kind of taste than regular coffee but at the same time, it's very similar to the flavor of regular coffee. Um, I also like it because it has some like added extra benefits to it for your, that are good for your health, which is a really nice kind of bonus to drinking it. It has no acid in it which coffee contains acidity. It has 
um, prebiotics in it, which is great. And I intend to talk about prebiotics and probiotics in a separate post, but it's acid free, coffee free, has prebiotics in it. And um, there was something else I think about it, but it, the chicory root has, I believe it's called inulin, in, inulin which is a type of fiber and it is a form of prebiotic which is really really good for you so that's been another reason that i really like it um and i kind of i've been wanting to share about it for a while and in fact recently like a month or two or so ago i went in my kitchen and started to film a video to share with you guys and I was not happy with <laughs> how it came out so because I was trying a new microphone at the time too so um, hopefully I can make new videos for you very soon and get um, content out about how you can make Ticino and hot and iced um, but I would highly recommend it and if you're interested definitely click the link in the description below and go check them out. Um, I think that's all I have to say on it for now, but I'd definitely recommend it. Um, write in the comments below if you have ever tried herbal coffee before and what your experience was with it and what kind you tried. Um, be sure to give this video a like and hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with or on <laughs> or for <laughs> more content like this and any other content that I have in store for the future. Until next time, I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.